So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today I'm going to make a short video but this is an important one so make sure you check it out. I am going to explain what is the difference between exporting a Power BI template or saving one, okay? So I'll tell you in a second why you should know this. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and this is our growth dashboard the one that measures the growth of a website using Google Analytics. And I am sharing currently this file with you. We are going to do a little experiment. We are going to save this file as a, with save us. And we're going to save the file with export. And you will see the difference. It's a huge and very important difference. We will start with export. So I'm going to get this file. We go here, File, Export, and Power BI Template, OK. And I already have done it once. Here we have Growth Dashboard, dashboard Export, Save. Do you want to replace it? Yes. So you see what happens. And we're going to close this and open the export file to see what happened. So here is our export file. And as you can see, I don't have any parameters in there. It just cleaned them out, wiped them out. So I, if I want to, you know, uh, access the file, I have to enter my credentials again. I'm going to fake them. Let's say that I don't have the credentials for this file. I just got it and see what happens. And those two stay there. So it looks that it's loading the tables, right? Let's go back here. Nothing loaded. And we have there the tables. Let's go back to the query editor and nothing is there, right? We have no data whatsoever just because I couldn't authenticate myself, which is the way it's supposed to work. Okay, but what happens now if we do a save as, okay? So we open our growth dashboard, the one I'm sharing with you, and I am going now to do a save as. So here is the, fi the same file from the beginning, right? So we go file, save as. And here there is an option for Power BI template. And here I have a save as replace it. Yes. We close this one. And now we open again and see what happens. Now, here's the difference. All my parameters are still here, which is not good, especially if you have API keys and you know, that kind of stuff. You want this wiped out. You want the user to be able to load it. But not only that, if I just fake this again. So that means I don't have the, the passwords I'm just trying to get in. It says, okay, I, I couldn't authenticate, but the numbers are still here and the data is still here. And this is not that good. I mean, it's okay if you're sharing the file internally that the only thing you want them is to change the parameters perhaps, but the connection should stay. But if you want to wipe clean template, then this is not the way to do it. And I think it's a bit unfortunate that both of them have the same extensions and it's called the same because I've been sharing files with you like this all the time. And what I really wanted to do was to share them clean so you could start over. So, I, I just thought that it was an important uh, video to make in case you are sharing files just to make sure that you clean them up before you send them to somebody if they are not supposed to get your data. I don't have any important data in my file, so it really doesn't matter for me. But perhaps for you, if you are using client's data, is an important distinction, okay? 
Okay, so this is all for today. If you liked the video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments or questions, suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.